Hey guys, Jared here, and today we're going to take a look at the Dell Ultrasharp U2414H monitor. At just under 215 US dollars, we'll find out how this monitor performs. Inside the box, we've got the adjustable stand, the panel itself, USB cable, power cable, a display port to mini display port cable, and of course, manual and driver CD. Does anyone still actually install the drivers that come with their monitor from the CD? Everything just worked out of the box for me. Anyway, the stand snaps into the back of the panel very easily, and removal is as simple as pushing in the button underneath and pulling the stand out. The stand connection area is also where the 100mm VESA mount is found, which will be useful if you're going to be mounting the panel to some other monitor arm. If you do plan on mounting the panel, it weighs 3.61 kilos or 7.95 pounds, while the panel with the included stand comes in at 8 kilos or 17.62 pounds. The panel is 23.8 inches diagonally, while the width of the whole front screen is 21.23 inches or 539 millimeters. The side comes out 7.28 inches or 185 millimeters, while the maximum height when fully extended from base to top is 19.12 inches or 459 millimeters. The stand, which is made out of hard plastic, has a small hole through the middle which allows for cable management and helps keep everything tidy. The stand allows the screen to be turned from landscape to portrait with 90 degrees of pivot in either direction when extended to maximum height. There is also 130 millimeters of height adjustment available. The screen can be tilted forward 6.5 degrees or back 22 degrees and there is 45 degrees of swivel both left and right, so basically more adjustments than I'll ever use. The 23.8 inch LED panel itself has a 1080p resolution and has a 60Hz refresh rate. The panel has an anti-glare coating on it, which does a pretty good job as you can see here. The matte screen hides other distractive light and reflection well. It's rated at 8 milliseconds gray to gray, which is a little higher than most monitors I've seen, however I didn't practically notice any problems with this. The viewing angles are quite good. I did notice some subtle changes when I stand up while looking at the display. Dell state that the panel supports 178 degree viewing angles. And while I do notice it change a little bit initially, while not looking directly at it, it still does look great from all angles. What first caught my attention with the panel was the extremely thin bezel. At just 6.05mm, or 0.24 inches, it's the thinnest bezel on any monitor I've ever used. After some time using just a single monitor, I didn't really notice the bezel anymore, as anything that's not the screen just kind of blends away out of my vision. When added with a second monitor though, the difference is quite noticeable. Having two of these together side by side with such thin bezels is quite nice. Much better than the old monitors I have with a 9000 inch bezel. In terms of backlight bleed, I was not able to notice any while using these two monitors. I've taken a long exposure shot here with the monitor displaying a pure black image to try and demonstrate any backlight bleed in an extreme worst case scenario, but it still looks great. The front also features a small unobtrusive Dell logo and all required buttons to control the display settings such as brightness or contrast. The buttons are capacitive touch and I've found them a bit hit or miss to use. Sometimes my presses weren't registered correctly. The menus for going through the settings were otherwise intuitive and easy to use. On the back for input, working from left to right, we've got the power connector, display port in with version 1.2a, mini display port in, display port out for MST, more on this later, two HDMI MHL ports, an audio line out, one USB 3.0 Type-B input for the included cable, and three USB 3.0 Type-A ports. There's also a fourth USB Type-A port just above these on the back. However, it also supports battery charging with up to two amps available and is identified by the lightning icon. I found it useful for charging my phone as I can just leave a short cable plugged into the monitor rather than using an extremely long cable to make it all the way to my computer. To use the four USB Type-A ports, you must first plug in the included USB 3.0 Type-B cable into the monitor and your computer. Once connected, you'll be able to use the monitor as a USB 3.0 hub. The 3.5mm jack on the back can be used if you're connecting with the included DisplayPort cable, as sound over DisplayPort is supported. The sound quality was pretty good, no issues there. As mentioned, the monitor's DisplayPort out supports MST, or multi-stream transport, which allows for daisy chaining. This is a feature of DisplayPort 1.2, and by default I found that the monitor did not have this enabled. You can enable DisplayPort 1.2 in the monitor's display settings. Once done, you can plug a second monitor in through this port. In this example, I have two monitors, with the secondary monitor plugged directly into the first. 
There is only one cable going from the primary monitor to the computer, and both displays work just fine. I've got a full video covering how to set this up, linked in the video description. So at just 215 US dollars at the time of this video, I think this monitor offers a pretty good value. It's got quite a thin bezel, the display looks great, and the stand supports more adjustment options than I'd ever need. The only minor issues I have to note are the ever so slight change in viewing angles as mentioned, and the capacitive touch buttons on the front. Otherwise overall, it's been working really well. So what did you guys think of the Dell U2414H monitor? Be sure to let me know your thoughts down in the comments, and leave a like on the video if you found it useful. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for future tech videos like this one.